Now although Teleprompter Pro is designed primarily for teleprompting, it does have some limited recording functionality built into it as well. So I'm going to cover in this tutorial some of the ways you can record your presentation. Now I'm going to include how you can record it in the app, but I'm also going to cover a way to record if you want some more advanced functionality. So the first thing we do is we enable the camera. And then you'll get a choice of cameras in your system. Okay, so I'm uh, enabling my Microsoft Live Cam here. Now, normally when you do this, a, a video window will appear, a preview window showing you the camera output. That's not uh, working for me now because I'm using uh, the recording software to record this presentation. Uh, but what I suggest you do before you record is use the video preview to check that you're positioned in the camera properly but then go into the settings and turn the video preview off this is mainly if you're on a low powered machine because it takes some processing power to render this video preview so if you turn it off you hopefully should get some smoother recordings now in the latest release i've also included some video settings so there's low quality medium and maximum so if you're getting jerky video you have the option of stepping down the resolution and hopefully your computer can keep up also what i've found is that the wmv format if you can get away with that tends to be not so demanding on the hardware so if you really do want a higher resolution like a 720p or 1080p but you're still getting jerky video, you can actually try the WMV format and see how that works for you. And then once you're ready to present, it's just a simple case of pressing the record button and you'll see here if I minimize this, you can see a record button has uh, come up and then when you're finished recording, stop. And then you've got an option to preview the recording and a preview window will appear like I said it's not recording video on mine because I'm recording video in a separate app but you also have the option to go to the videos themselves and they will be stored in your videos folder under teleprompter pro recordings and you can see some videos there that I've recorded before you also have the ability to view these videos and do minor edits using this media editor. So if we click here, we've got the option to open pre-done videos and I'll go to that to Teleprompter Pro Recordings and you can see I've got a video I recorded here. And you can see it loads in and I can scroll through the video and then I have ability to trim the video so if there's a bit at the beginning that I'm not interested in, I can trim the start and it will crop that. And I can do the same with the end. And then once I'm happy, I can save that. So obviously, because the primary focus of Teleprompter Pro is teleprompting, and this is just a, you know, a just nice feature if you just want to do some quick uh, video recordings. Uh, you know, it is, you know, it has got limited functionality, but now I'm going to show you if you want to do some more advanced recordings, we'll turn this off. You can use this program and this is the program that I'm using to record this video as well now. Uh, and the program is called OBS. And if you want to download that, it's available for free for Windows here. Okay, so you just download that for free. And what you can do is, I've got it set up to my desktop at the moment, but if I switch to a different scene, you can see I've got different functionality. So you can see here I'm recording video while I'm recording the background. Now I'm not going to do a full tutorial on OBS. There's lots of tutorials on OBS out there, but you can see I have the ability, if I want a full webcam, this is this is me now, I can make it full screen as well if I want to do a video recording. But you see I've got much more flexibility. You can see here I can switch between the flash screen that I uh, was recording and my main desktop. 
Uh, so this is pro this is the program OBS, and once you've set it up, it's just a case of setting up a your display and your camera etc and then you can start and stop the recording and you can see here the input from my microphone so what i suggest is for just basic things and if you're happy with it use the inbuilt functionality within teleprompter pro but if you want you know to do a lot more with your video recordings i 100 percent recommend obs it's a fantastic tool uh, and it will give you some real professional results if you take the time to set it up correctly.